Hey guys, it's Ash, and this is gonna be my short guide on one of the most effective ways of farming in the current metagame, which is Hog G Barge. This is a very versatile and efficient and effective army, reason why it's one of my favorite attacks for farming. You can attack any type of base for loot. You can effectively attack storages or collectors inside a base, or collectors around the exterior sides of the base. For the composition, you're only going to need 8 Hog Riders, so you're not really spending much Dark Elixir. The Hog Riders play a key role in removing threats, which so carry 8 Wall Breakers and 12 Giants. The Giants will shield your Archers and Archer Queen and your Hog Rider. And you want to train 1 Barrack full of Barbarians and 3 Barracks full of Archers. As for spells, just cook Rage and Heal spells. This composition is also one of the most efficient compositions for storage raiding because of how fast it trains. Since you're utilizing the dark barracks for farming, that's a total of 6 barracks you're using. This army trains faster than other efficient armies such as Barge and Mass Goblins and is able to do a lot more destruction to a base. Okay, so here we have this Town Hall 9 base with lots of resource, over 650, uh, over 650,000 in total. And uh, these are the types of bases that I like to attack. I like to go for at least 400,000 in total resource. And uh, looking at this base, I'm pretty sure I can get at least 400,000. So I'm going to definitely target this base. And we're going to attack it from the weakest side, which looks to be uh, the top right side since one of the wizard towers are, are upgrading. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating some space by sending out barbarians on two far sides and then archers behind them. And that's gonna create space. That's gonna allow my other troops, my other barbarians and archers to then funnel off towards the center. And here we're gonna send out hog riders right towards the splash defenses, the mortar and the wizard tower. Also gonna send in another uh, pair of wall breaker, another pair of wall breaker and open up towards the core. So you wanna send everything in here. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use a heal spell right on those Hog Riders towards the direction onto the defenses as uh, the heal spell replenishes them and allows them to keep going further inside and remove all the defensive threats and that's just going to make it much easier for our uh, troops to then uh, steal all the resource. So here our Arch Queen is targeting the Town Hall so that's perfect because obviously the Town Hall now carries resource so it's very important. So we're going to remove the Town Hall and we're also going to steal the Dark Elixir here. And then we're going to head out here because our Archer Queen is getting targeted. So we managed to get over 409,000, around 500,000 in total resource and 2400 Dark Elixir. Nice. Okay, a crazy amount of resource in this Rush Town Hall 10 base. And uh, this is one of the reasons why I like farming here, down here in uh, Silver League. Is because of these weak bases you're gonna find a lot of weak bases and you're also gonna find dead bases so here I'm just gonna spread those uh, giants around and also gonna send in archers and what I'm doing is I'm using multiple fingers I'm using around three fingers on one hand to quickly deploy a bunch of my archers so here I'm just gonna evenly deploy them because I'm gonna need to also then attack from this side so here what I'll do is I'm gonna try to first avoid uh, the archer tower over there using one or two archers each to remove the army camps first and then once I have the army camps removed I'm then gonna spread out my giants here four giants again three fingers each and swirl them around and that should basically do it and then we also have these uh, dark elixir drills so we're gonna go for that as well all right, let's see. What we're going to do here is we're just going to use one, two, three. These are weak defenses. King, and then uh, we're just going to use the king to quickly get the dark elixir drills there. So as you can see, just going to activate his ability because it's just going to be very easy to take the drills. And then we're just going to head out there. Uh, we're at 40... 50% we don't really need trophies down here one of the big reasons I really like farming down here in silver is because there's literally no concern for trophies so even if you don't get 50% just go for the loot you don't need the win and you're gonna make a lot of resource this way so I made over 800,000 in total just from this collector raid okay great another town hall 9 base with lots of resource and as you can see two wizard towers are upgrading he does have level 7 mortars so those are gonna be a big threat uh, so what we're gonna do is let's see he has a mortar here here that mortar is upgrading 
so he has no mortal on this side. However, we do need to get that town hall because town halls now account for two storages. They're equivalent to one gold storage, one elixir storage, and a fourth of a dark storage. So we're going to have to attack from the uh, left side then. And uh, those two mortars are pretty exposed. So what we can do is we can use our hog riders to quickly remove them. So first we're going to start by uh, sending out those side hog <laughs> side barbarians. And then we're going to spread around our giant. And then right towards those uh, mortars we're going to send in two groups of hog riders. And then we're going to send in a pair of wall breakers, open up the first layer, open up the second layer with groups of wall breakers and we're going to couple those wall breakers with a rage spell to allow them to open up both layers of walls and we're going to use a heal spell right on to those defenses. Uh, looks like our hog riders have not made it through, however the, the heal spell is going to allow my uh, giants here to replenish their health as they make it to the core here. So perfect, we made it to the core. Our Archer Queen is uh, getting targeted here by that cannon and wizard tower so we're going to pop her ability and then she should make her way towards the core again here. Uh, let's see, she's, no, she's going to go around. Hopefully she goes uh, towards the core to avoid the damage from that cannon. Nope, she's not, she's not that bright. She's going for the wall. <laughs> oh well, but we still managed to get over 500,000 in total resource so we're just going to head out there. Okay, nice. Here we found the Town Hall 9 with lots of resources inside the storages. So let's see, we're gonna attack from the top because that's the closest direction towards that Town Hall. As you can see in the bottom, there are two heroes, the Archer Queen and Barbarian King are at the south. So it's just not worth attacking from the south uh, because of those empty spaces and the heroes. So it's just much better to attack from the top, especially now that Town Halls carry loot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first start by removing those side army camps and builder huts to create that space. Uh, camps and huts have very little hit points so it's only gonna take a few troops to remove them. And uh, once we've removed them we're then gonna spread our uh, giants around here. We're gonna spread them around nicely and that way they can shield all our troops very well and allow our barbarians and archers behind them to remove those structures. We're gonna send in a pair of wall breaker, open up the first layer. There were clan castle giants, not much of a problem. We're just gonna use a uh, poison there. And then couple our hog riders with that raid spell along with the wall breakers and giants to open up. And then we're gonna have our hog riders moving towards the left. So we're just gonna use a heal spell right here to keep them going. And uh, on the right side, as you can see, the other hog riders are remo removing the defenses with the assistance of the giants and the archers behind them. There was a giant bomb. No, removed, uh, lost the, some of our archers, but that's fine. Uh, as you can see, our hog riders have made it to the core, so we're going to use a heal spell touching our giants and the hog riders, and that's going to allow them to remove the Teslas inside that core. And uh, yeah, it's making it much easier for our troops now, our archers that are attacking behind the giants. Uh, onto those elixir storage and our archer queen here is gonna get that other elixir storage right afterwards So it's looking very good uh, our archers were getting are still getting distracted by the uh, Heroes at the center, but now they're retargeting they're targeting the elixir storage So that's great our archer queens targeting the gold storage, but she's getting also targeted uh, by the archer tower over there So we're just gonna end it there. We don't want to lose our archer queen uh, so we still managed to get over 550,000 in total resource, so that's awesome. And it's very important to keep our Archer Queen at good health so that we can use her in every raid because it's just very important to keep your Archer Queen at good health so you can use her in every raid. I, I could have used her to get a little more resource, but it's just not worth it. So it's just much better to keep her at good health so that we can use her in every raid. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed my short guide and that it helped a lot, especially in the current state of the game uh, with so little dead bases out there now. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more great content on this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Later.